Hello, my name is Kian. I am a first year medical student in Canada and this channel is all about my medical school journey. So if you're interested in learning more about that, please subscribe and hit the bell button icon. Um, this video today is all about my study routine. Um, the very first thing I do is I put on some really comfy clothes. Uh, one of my favorite things to wear is my big fuzzy pink robe. So when I start a study session, I love to make a beautiful warm cup of tea. I like to have some snacks. <clears throat> Boom chicka pop! And then once I get to my desk, I make sure I have all my supplies, everything I need so I don't need to get up or get distracted. And then to mark the start, of a study session, I light a candle. When the study session is over, I blow out the candle and it just creates this ritual of opening the study session and closing it. As for staying focused, I like to use the Pomodoro technique, which is where you work for 25 minutes and then you take a break for five minutes. And then after four cycles, you get a 15 minute break. During my short breaks, I also like to optimize this time. I like to do things like answer emails, check emails, do some quick exercises like some squats, just get the blood flow moving, or refill my snack bowl, or get another cup of tea. And then when the 25 minutes resumes, you're just ready to get back into study mode. When I'm developing a study session, I like to have a plan. So I always start by making a checklist of things that I'm hoping to complete within the study session or within the next few study sessions. And then after I make that list, I try to rank them based on importance or certain due dates that are impending so that I can use my time efficiently and get the things done that I need to do most. If I have a really large chunk of time, this being probably two hours or more, I try to focus on understanding a really large concept, for example, tackling the diabetes unit. If I have smaller chunks of time, usually an hour or less, I focus on discrete tasks that I can check off. So things like doing readings, doing CBL prep, doing um, a deck of Anki questions, or doing some practice questions that I've made for myself are really great things that I can get done quickly. I don't like to tackle large subjects when I have a small amount of time because nothing bothers me more than being in that state of flow and really starting to make connections and then having to go and do some other commitment and interrupt that flow. If I have a large chunk of time for studying, there are three things that I do and these are broken down based on what I need to accomplish. So the three things are learning the subject material, understanding large concepts, or memorizing small details. So as for learning the material, I like to do the following. So I read and I take condensed notes on things that I think are important. Uh, right now I'm just using Pages, which is a Word application for Mac. Um, sometimes I write them out on my iPad, and then as I'm going through, I identify things that are important or things that I want to commit to memory, and I write them down in a quiz format here. So I don't write down the things I want to remember, I write down questions that will make me extract that information from my brain and when I'm done the readings I go through these questions and these serve just as a form of active recall as well as a future reference that has the really important things all in one place. As for understanding big concepts, I love the idea of using a whiteboard and trying to explain the concept to a friend or a family member or an imaginary friend, usually it's an imaginary friend, um, for me because I'm a very independent learner and it's not so much um, them understanding what you're explaining but the process of explaining that really helps you gauge how well you understand the concept. Oftentimes when I'm doing this I come up with questions for myself like why does that happen and then I have to go back. For things that are straight up memorization I love to use Anki. There's lots of other similar apps out there however I just really know how to use Anki so I love that it uses spaced repetition and I find it very effective for memorizing things that just don't seem to want to go into my brain. So I prioritize things for Anki that are not conceptual but purely memorization. So things like what a drug does or the dosage of a drug, those are things that I put into Anki. And basically you write the question and you write the answer 
and then you rank the flashcard based on how easy it was to remember or how hard it was to remember and if it's harder to remember the program shows you the flashcard more often whereas if it's easier for you to remember you don't see the flashcard as much i think this is a really smart use of technology and it has really helped me memorize things so one thing i will leave you with is that everybody studies differently and it's all about finding what is most effective for you however there is scientific evidence showing that active recall really really improves your retention over sort of passive recall and passive learning so active recall is things like doing flashcards doing questions it's the process of pulling the information out of your brain passive recall is things like rewriting your notes writing summary sheets highlighting things it's basically where the information is given to you and you're just rereading it or retaking it in and you're not pulling it out of your brain yourself so as you saw in this video lots of things that i do for active recall are things like trying to explain a concept to a friend it's using things like anki it's writing questions for myself so i strongly encourage you to adopt these methods into your study routine they are a lot less pleasant they take a lot more effort but i think that the payoff is so much better because you really retain and understand things better so that is really all there is to my study routine that's a pretty condensed version if you want more details on how i do certain things such as use anki or take notes in class please let me know in the comments below because that would be such a fun video to make um, if you are currently studying slash watching this youtube video in the background i want to take this moment to give you some motivation shut youtube off shut off all your distractions get in the zone because as soon as you hit that flow state where you're just like learning stuff nothing can distract you then you will be so much more productive thank you so much for watching and i will see you next week